Hello lads and ladies and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Oxford United against Fleetwood. Yes, massive game, Easter weekend and it's a big, big game for both football clubs. Oxford outside the playoffs, Lincoln have leapfrogged them. Oxford will be thinking three points were at home. He's a banker. Decade in League One is going to pretty much end with a whimper, unfortunately. So just three wins in 24 and one win in 10. Although we have improved, there's been too many draws and that one win in 10. You know, we need to start winning games of football if we're going to stay in this division. The defeat on Friday hurt. Please subscribe. We're on the road to 14,000 subscribers. And um, if we can go for 350 likes, that'd be massively appreciated. We've just arrived here in Oxford. This is a big game for both football clubs. Oxford just outside those playoffs. Two wins in eight. Haven't really hit the highs. You know, I think the 13th in 2024. You know, Des has come in and not really had the greatest of impact on the squad. Look, they were flying under, you know, Liam Manning got a great result after he left at Leighton Orient. Since then, you know, they've got a couple of decent results, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, managed to win, you know, a couple of games here convincingly, beat Cheltenham um, you know, you know, as well. And you know, the Kassam has been a fortune over the years. To Carl Robinson, especially, and then Liam Manny. We're here with Jack, a Fleetwood fan. Jack, what are we thinking today, mate? Um, 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 I think the score's going to be 2 1 to Fleetwood, hopefully. Win it. None of this. Um, you know, good for 45 minute stuff. None of this, you know, we had a good 10 minute cameo and if we get a goal, you keep playing. If they get a goal, you keep playing and we've got a fight to the very end because um, you know, that's what this you know town have done and the club have done since being in League One. We've been here for 10 years, deserve to be here um, and if we do go down, let's go down with some pride. I don't think we're going to stay up. I, th um, um, I think we're going to go down. And, and the next season we're going to go back up to League One. Hello, how are we? What are, you, what are you doing here? It's a nice surprise. I wanted to come and say hello. It, does it, you know, we're at Oxford away today. And yep. it make, you know, from it, I have all my t lock guests. I'd probably had you most likely to come. Then the Lincoln guy who's at Carlisle today. Yep. And then the actual Oxford fan who... He's really? here. He's, he's here. here. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I, I think he's been summoned by all the supporters. Everyone's going to see him in a we're, couple we're, minutes. We're, we're in front of a bull here. Normally the bull... It's I'm, an ox. Uh, well, is it not ox, ox the bull, shall we say? You know, it, it looks like a bull, doesn't it? You know. It's got a big chap on him. Yeah. <laughs> Normally when I'm thinking of bull, I'm thinking of our other T-Lop co-host, yeah. Jake. Yes. Yeah. Wardy, my T-Lop co-host. How are yeah. we, mate? I'm good. I'm here. Yeah. Before, and that's start. <laughs> yeah, before we start, right, I always find it, you know, intimidating going to new places. Behind you is the Kassam Stadium. Yeah. Oxford play their home games here. Yeah. What's it like seeing it in person? Is it, is it a bit like you've won a competition to come to a game? Because normally yeah. this is on the TV screen. It's like an episode of Make-A-Wish. Um, <laughs> and I'm just delighted I'm here. It looks so much bigger than it does on iFollow. But it's... Uh, oh, hello. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's some specimen with one side missing. I'd love you to get a result here today. I'm really torn. I like Wardy to win. I want you to win. I don't know which way I'm swaying. But then a, a result doesn't. You're in the Oxford end, aren't you? I am. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't get tickets to the Fleetwood end, mate. Sold out, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. What did it? Oh, the hundreds. <laughs> so are you, you going to give me a score prediction? Are you going to sell the um, defence? Splinters here, mate. I, no, no one wants it, but I think I could see a one-one. I could see Oxford scoring. I could see you getting back in it. Loads of pressure. And then just just not get anything out out of it in the end. I, I, I just I hope that doesn't happen. Tyler Goodrum starting again for all, which is good. He's someone that we've been missing, so it's good. Oh, and Dale Murphy have been really good in recent weeks, and they're starting. So yeah, I think we've look, we've gone all out. I think that we've, we're looking to attack. We need to do that when we go one nil up, because our biggest problem has been we go one nil up and we concede goals and drop points. So if we do go one nil up, which would be a start, we've got to try and then kill you off. And we've got the players to do it. We've got the attacking players to do it. You haven't, have you given your score prediction yet? Um. 2-1 Oxford, I think. Yeah. But then that's over, isn't it? If you lose today, almost. It's been over since match no, it week. Hasn't. Come on, you got to so, believe. Why there's still a chance? Look, it's Easter. Easter. It's, it's Easter. Jesus rose again at Easter. He came back from the dead. Fleet, we're going to do the same. Fleet, we're going to do the same. You watch it. Watch it happen. Up the cards. Come on, Tom. Six games to go. I think you probably need maybe four wins. Yeah, and we've got Lincoln to play in, in, the, in that running, and Stevenage at home, and Peterborough. We've got Burton next. Today, it's not over if we lose today or draw today, but it makes it serious unlikely. Today is almost must-win territory. I think it probably is must-win territory. I'd like to say more comfortable, but I'm going to go two on Oxford. OK, and where can they go and find your channel? The Jackwood Football Podcast on YouTube. 8K now, I believe. 8K, hit that wow. yesterday, which is great. Uh, and obviously, t as well. 
Yeah, exactly. You can come and join us over there as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And you can come and juice, join us for the juicy um, five foot four. Uh, yep. Th those as well. Wardy, mate, all Absolutely. the best. Good luck. The sort of. Not really. Yeah, come on. It's a massive game for Oxford. For us, it's about getting as many points as possible. Going for a midfield three at Brennan, Ruben Rodriguez, and Jack Ward Football Podcast in Tyler Goodwin. The front three of Dale, ex Blackpool, no, Murphy, and Harris. Often key moments in games, we have a chance at one end, they break, Brannigan cuts inside, scores. We go and deal with that with 15 away from half time. Tick, just absolutely rifle it. Oh! Very good home football, you know, in your face, quick, you know, not much off it is, and I like that. It's front foot, but full throttle. He's banging on about it, but the attacking players have got, you know, good room, you know, he's got better, he's gone on, just signed a new long term deal. Harry's has had a quiet season. This is 10 goals a season, that. Save. The amount of issues I've got with that goal is unbelievable. Samuels jogging back, giving up. He was doing keep ups. What are you doing? Pulls it across and knowing Dale scores. It's so much, so. It, I've got a big issue with that. Samuels jogging back. Some of those players jogging back. Passive. Giving up. Why am I here? Why are we here? This is painful. Honestly. I'd like to say I'm raging, but I've gone past the point of caring again and thinking since Friday, the situation and that's deteriorated the whole club. You know, the players haven't looked ready at it, focused, you know, compared to last season. Brown didn't look happy, Johnson didn't look happy. We weren't moving in the right direction at all, and here we are. Been in at this league a decade with a longest serving team currently. You know, Shrewsbury will take that, you know, landmark, you know, very soon as well. And, you know, Oxford, another established league one football club as well, has done very well for themselves, looking higher. Um, look at her. You know, rebuild again, go again in the summer and make sure you know, we stay up next season. Everyone will talk about going up 50 points. It's supposed to be more. The second half is probably more painful than the first because see, the damage has been done. It's so flat, they know the result. We've still got another 20, 25 minutes to watch yet as well. We can't complete three, four passes and they're literally passing the ball backwards and we're in our shape. Fuck Oxford, good side. Gear B, gear C again. And you still look good. Yeah. 
Or is Oxford United 4, Fleetwood Town 0. It's another deflection. Brannigan gets into the box as well. Um, looks like he takes it too far. He comes on the edge, it's struck. Hits a load of bodies and sneaks into the far top corner. McCarran's his second of the game. He looked right before, could have had one. Um, Odi Atabon obviously in the game, could have had a hatchet really. Look, it's the least they deserve. We've been nowhere near the level. Second half, we've been poor again. It'd be glossed over because it was nil-nil and we only lost one goal. If you watched here on the video and you haven't go back to it, there might be a certain YouTuber here. Four nil written all over it. Grow up, what sort of name is that? Don't cry because it's over. Be happy that it happened. This football community experience, 10 years in League One. We've overachieved. Look, people say you had it on money and you know, dirty money. But this little football club had 10 years in League One. And it's been an, a, a great ride. And it's been great to, to you, know, you know, vlog the journey along. But something's best to come to an end. And I think it's right for us to, to, to go down to League Two. We've not been good in the full season. And, this is the this this is the end here, right in front of me and deserve so got battered today against a good Oxford team. Really should be about eight. Lynch has made four or five big saves from fair to him. First off, congratulations to Oxford on the victory. A good victory for McClinchy. Four goals, three points. What you need at this stage of the season. Uh, a good victory, played well, shots on target, gun ho football, back to the best um, at times. I think we can still reach different levels, but for Fleetwood. Pathetic, spineless, lazy, giving up, jogging, mistakes, and in the end, not good enough. I am a big believer in clapping my team, the magnitude of the effort, but I'm not clapping that. I'm not signaling to that. It hurts, it really does. Look, we've had it easy in League One. You know, we can't cover six million losses in a calendar year. You know, we've got no owner. We've got no owner. An inexperienced manager who I want to keep in Charlie Adam. Um, a squad that's going to get ripped apart. Budget issues. One relegation away from the National League is worrying times. I'm a worried, worried fan right now. Again, thank you for sticking with me this season. Thank you for everything. And not just again. No, I say it all the time, but again, this channel without you is nothing. Please like, please subscribe. We'll be back Wednesday for League One Live. We go again.